Yeah, Huel, no one has been charged yet, but the feds did spend a considerable part of the day gathering as much evidence as they could from multiple locations in what they're calling a case of public corruption. FBI agents seen searching the homes of Detroit Council members Jane Ayers and Scott Benson, other federal agents at Detroit City Hall. When we asked why? Why are we doing these search warrants? Because the citizens of Detroit have a right to a city government that is free of corruption. We do know the raid is connected to a public corruption investigation. No one is being charged today. Um, simply what we're doing today is collecting evidence, and which will be presented to the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Eastern District of Michigan. In response to this investigation, fellow Detroit Councilwoman Raquel Castaneda-Lopez is asking for yearly mandatory ethics training. And this is not the first criminal investigation involving the Detroit Council. We don't know what the investigation is about. Uh, because public corruption investigations are so broad, it's really unfair to try and draw a conclusion. Andre Spivey was recently charged federally, accused of accepting more than $35,000 in bribes. And Gabe Leland was forced to leave city council in May, then pleaded guilty to a state charge surrounding illegal campaign contributions, taking thousands in cash for a vote on a land deal. As for this current investigation, obviously they're in the very early stages. The FBI actually asked us to ask you if you have any information as a viewer to contact them or the U.S. Attorney's Office. Reporting live tonight, Dave Spencer on The Edge.